Before you start selling with FBA, you need to pay attention to the Fulfilled by Amazon settings. These can be found under Settings, Fulfillment by Amazon. I'll now go through these in turn. Pan-European FBA is available if you have a unified European account. If you create an FBA listing in each of France, Italy, Germany and Spain, then when you sell a product to one of these countries, independent of where the inventory is stored, you will get the local fulfillment rate in that country. So if you have a listing in France, Italy, Germany and Spain, your inventory is stored in Italy, but the order is sent in Spain, then you will pay the Spanish fulfillment rate. To do this, you need to be enrolled in the process. You need to enable inventory storage in multiple countries. And this also triggers various tax obligations if the inventory is going to be stored in different countries. Second option is the Amazon labeling service. Certain products need to be given a separate Amazon specific barcode. If you enable this, then Amazon will do the label on your behalf. Otherwise, you have to do it as part of the shipment creation process. Inbound settings chooses whether you want to have warnings about which products are going to be restricted, for example, hazmat or whether the listings need approval. So if you go through the process of creating a shipment, certain products, it'll say there's a hazmat warning on this product. And if you enable that, you will see that warning. And also trying to send a product in a category which you're not yet approved for, then you will see a warning for that too. And you may choose not to send that product. The 2D barcode is a barcode that you put on the front of an Amazon parcel that you send to the Amazon Fulfillment Center, which then tells Amazon the content of that parcel. And it is a way that enables the parcel to be more easily processed. Furbishing settings is whether you choose to let Amazon furbish, as in refurbish your products that get sent back. And it will then basically will take the return in. It will then check the return and make it fit for sale and, and put it back into your inventory. Unfulfillable removals is when if you have a return which cannot be sent out or if there's something damaged in the warehouse, you can choose to have it returned or disposed. You set the return address and you set the schedule. Long-term removals, if something is in Amazon storage for more than six months, then it triggers a long-term removal storage fee, which is quite punitive. So enable you to not pay the long-term storage charge, you can choose to have the items returned or destroyed. The FBA barcode preference sets whether you want to use the manufacturer barcode or an Amazon barcode on the product. If you use the manufacturer barcode and other sellers sell the same product with the same barcode, then Amazon will fulfill your order using one of those products. It may not necessarily be your product, but it'll be a product with the same barcode. This is obviously very convenient for Amazon, but it has the problems. It does happen that some sellers send up fakes and your genuine products could get mixed up with the fakes. So you can then you can choose to have your products rebarcoded using Amazon barcodes. But then of course they have to be rebarcoded and the setting we just we just set above. If you want your products to be rebarcoded, you either have to pay Amazon to do it, which I think costs 15p per item, or you do it yourself as part of the shipment creation process. Amazon can sell your products globally if you allow it to. So you know you might have your products listed in the USA, but it'll sell them on and list them on Amazon UK, and you can allow it to do that here. FBA orders are eligible for the subscribe and save service. So for example, people can say they buy this product but then they can buy a subscription to the product on Amazon. Amazon doesn't allow you very much in the way of customization of your listings but here you can put a name on the packing slip and also some text. When you're sending products to Amazon you can use an Amazon carrier to do this and this is where this partnered carrier program comes in and you have to agree to their terms and conditions and then you can use them. Here under product support you can choose whether you want to do your own product support or you let Amazon do it themselves. The shipping programs and export settings is where you enable Amazon to export your products to other countries, widening the number of sales that you can get. Finally, FBA donations program is where you can choose to donate any damaged or excess stock to a charity. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com slash blog.